All right, guys, I recently ordered some overdrive blades, and I wanted to put them on my skates to experiment what they're going to be like. Um, then the game before I, put the, I was going to put these on, I noticed I was doing a lot of old-style kick saves, and I was worried that they might interfere with something like that. So I actually found an old pair of skates of mine, and I figured I was going to experiment with them. And I discovered it looks like whoever owned them before may have already experimented with adding uh, the overdrive blades to these because there's already holes drilled into the cowlings right where you'd expect them to be installed for a skate like this. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to install them on these uh, backup skates so I can experiment with them. Uh, give them a shot and let you know how I feel about them. And you can watch me as I go through the install process on these. So first things first, let's go ahead and unlace these. All right, guys, we got the skates fully unlaced. We can take out our soles. And if you take a look, not only does it look like the holes are there from the old overdrive blades, but it looks like there are T-nuts in there too. You can see they're rusted out, but my suspicion is whoever sold these took off the overdrive blades and repurposed them and put them on their new skates and then just got rid of these skates. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. All right, so I ordered the overdrive blades and this is how they came. Let's go ahead and open these up so you guys can see what this looks like. Okay. So this is great. They got instructions here. You got the overdrive blades. Oh, and look at that. They actually come with their own T-nut. So I went outside and bought some. And I really didn't need to do that. I'm also very impressed with the instructions that came with it. It really goes over every type of skate, how you can line it up. You can see in my case, I have the CCMs, Coho CEMs, and it's just the off kilter it a bit. Oh yeah, they line up perfect. The instructions will tell you exactly where and how to drill into your skates. Let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, T-nuts and see if we can pull those out. I had my best success removing the old T-nuts by taking a nail, putting them through the bottom ends, and then using a hammer to push out the old T-nuts. All right, just like that, we got the first one out of here. All right, here is the old T-nut. All right, let's poke out the rest. All right, now I'm gonna place three new T-nuts inside there. What's really cool is some of the T-nuts that it came with, if you can see this, are cut off so you can fit it really close to the edge there. Now in my case, I don't think it's going to matter. I got plenty of space, but if you are really close on space, you can get these to fit close to the edge here. So let me slide in a few new versions of these. And I found that the easiest way to add a new T-nut is to stick a nail through one end of the skate hole that you just drilled in. So once you have the nail sticking out, you know exactly where to stick the T-nut. And then we can start adding in the other T-nuts and the other screws. 
And that was mostly it. I mean, I need to tighten these up. Also gonna put some thread locker on here. But that was really easy. Now I did have the benefit of having the holes already drilled for this skate, but I don't think it would be too, too much more work to do. Let me show you, all you would do is get one of the blades, place it where you want, mark the holes and then drill it first. And to be fair, I had to go through the work of pulling out the old T-nuts uh, to replace them with new ones. I think it's about equal work. It's, I mean, it's not that hard. All right, so I got my screws partially in, but now all I really want to do is just add a little bit of thread locker so these screws don't come undone in a game. overdrive blade and all right we got the same thing to do on another skate And now we have overdrive blades installed on both of these skates. So I can give these a shot, try them out. The only thing I will need to do with these is put the soles back in them and lace them back up. After trying the overdrive blades in a game, I now have some experience to give a few thoughts. I was able to push off while in the butterfly but I did need to lift my leg up a little bit. You can't keep your leg totally flat and take advantage of the overdrive blades, but you hardly need to lift up your leg. I can also tell you that there's a learning curve to using the overdrive blades. There would be times where I forgot I had them on and while trying to stretch my leg across doing certain saves, they could dig in without you wanting them to dig in and throw you off balance a bit. Now this isn't anything that couldn't be overcome with an adjustment in technique. You can use these and decide when to dig them in and when not to, but there is a learning curve for it. And here's an example. I can slide my foot across, no problem, it never catches. But depending on your style and your foot movement, you may find yourself having your skates catch when you go side to side if you don't make a technique adjustment. Overall, I would say if you learn to use the overdrive blades correctly, it will definitely add an edge to your game, especially if you're a pure butterfly sliding style goalie. But for me, there's a big enough learning curve to use them correctly that I don't think I'll be using these regularly. Maybe just something to try for fun, especially since I don't have the full modern sliding butterfly instilled as my second nature style. Some of the moves that I make can actually cause the blades to dig in when I don't want them to. But I think if you were to learn to use them properly as a butterfly goalie, you would really enjoy what they have to offer. 